Hello everyone. I've been getting some questions about sample rate in the past week and I figured I'd offer this tool to you guys if you haven't ever heard of it. It's called R8 Brain or Rate Brain. I, I don't know how you pronounce it, but R8 Brain version 1.9 um, by Voxengo. It's a free tool that offers a high quality sample rate conversion. You can get it from the website link in the video description or uh, voxengo.com if you can spell that. But um, I just wanted to show you this website as well, which gives a comparison. And I always had this happen. I don't know why they uh, why it does that. But um, anyway, this is R8 Brain. It has a nicer sample rate converter at least according to the test on this website than the one that's built into reaper and it totally kills some of the other programs you know reaper's not too bad if you go through this and look at the different test you know reaper's not really that bad i don't, I don't know what's going on here um this looks smoother but reaper's not that bad in extreme mode but if you if you compare R8 Brain on the frequency sweep to let's say Ableton, that's a lot of aliasing and distortion. Um, we'll look at the other test. That's not too bad. That one's like perfect. That's kind of weird. That's uh. That looks like it's not. It looks like in a minimum phase filter and then we have uh yeah the, the impulse is off because it's minimum phase and we'll keep going through these uh let's see cubase I'll try cubase cubase looks nasty with their sample rate conversion uh digital performer seven looks okay Not too bad. Cubase was terrible. Um, FL Studio, let's see, version 10. Looks a little weird. Uh, it looks uh, maybe audible. It's got a lot of purple compared to R8 Brain. And we'll keep going. Logic 9. That looks, <laughs> that looks like a bunch of triangles and circus tents. Or waves or whatever. Not terrible, but also not, uh, it's still giving some distortion when that wouldn't be good. Let's uh, see what it looks like compared to a piece of hardware. The sync versus async. And let's see. Let's see Pro Tools. Pro Tools 10. Oh, not too bad. I don't know if that's the hardware or the software, but I'm guessing it's the software converter. I think R8 Brain still beats it. Yeah, there's a lot of distortion up here in the upper frequencies. And, you know, the way this chart works is this is how loud the distortion is. Um... The sweep, the ideal sweep, shouldn't have anything past this point. Any signal past that point. You know, see this is like a perfect because there's there's nothing after that point. It doesn't go back down and anything that's going down is audible distortion, but it's at such a low signal and high frequency you probably can't hear it. So Pro, Pro Tools doesn't do too bad of a job, especially compared to the uh, the older versions. Looks like 8 and 7 are about equal. And uh, let's look at Reason. Reason's not too bad either. But again, not as perfect as R8 Brain. And R8 Brain is comparable to uh, the, the converter that Isotope makes in um, RX. So we'll look at, actually it's the... Uh, high steepness filter I believe 
comparing to frequency sweep, which is ideal. Now, this is the only thing that bothers me. This filter or the pass band ends right here. So that's one thing I think Reaper beats it with. And also the RX filter also beats it. RX is pretty much as cl close to perfect as you can get. But it also costs money, <laughs> which you may or may not have. Um, the other program that I would recommend, but it's a little more, it's definitely more complicated to use than R8 Brain is, it's called Socks. If I can find it, there it is. So Socks, we'll do linear phase and sweep. Let's see, equal, oops, yeah, equal, pretty much equal, better. Better. Of course, better is subjective. A lot of people don't like linear phase sample rate conversion. They prefer minimum phase, which Sox does have. You know, it rolls off the it rolls off quicker, but it sounds more like an analog sample rate converter. Which if you like R8 brain. There is R8 Brain Pro, which gives you that minimum phase sound, which can be pretty cool. And, and it still has an ideal frequency filter, but it has a uh, minimum phase distortion, which isn't bad. You know, distortion isn't always bad. You know, if distortion was bad, people wouldn't like guitar amps with a, a high gain. So definitely check out everything I just mentioned. R8 Brain, Socks, if you're pretty decent at computers, uh, using DOS and command prompts. It's really not that hard if you just read the instruction manual. But R8 Brain gives you an easy-to-use graphic user interface. It supports 64-bit up to 64-bit floating point down to 8-bit. It can resample you know, from a bunch of different things. The only thing I don't think it does is up convert to um, higher frequencies on, on higher qualities or, or something like that. I forget what the differences are, but if you go on Voxengo's website, it'll detail you with everything. But this is what I use when, you know, I'm being really, really audio file OCD about getting the out, right best quality you know again reapers is probably fine and it saves time but if you're going if you have another program that doesn't look good on this website which i also post a link to then i would recommend r8 brain or socks socks is what i would recommend over r8 brain or just buy r8 brain pro um, if you don't want to mess with command prompts because command prompts can be a problem and I've had some issues with socks putting out really big files Which wasn't fun So this works well It's been around since 2005 version 1.9 has been around since 2005 They haven't put a new release out in a while Because why why would you need to put something out that you know is pretty much top of the line, right? Um, but again, R8 Brain Pro, I think is like a hundred bucks or $120, depending on if there's a sale or not. And uh, that's about it. This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com.